can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here is Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Clean punch. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Throws the teeth now and it lands. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight, any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're gonna look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Overhand. Lands a solid kick right there. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Distance management 101, another punch lands. Oh, good work with the jab there. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch to the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lands. Nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Fast jab lands in. Ooh! Do not back up. Let's go. Oh, nice. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Connected with a solid strike there. Sidekick now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Let those hands go. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Short time, short time. 
All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan and it's working. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Throwing that low kick. Try to establish that jab. Fifteen seconds. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Lee's now switching his stance. All right, so a little welt there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we get to a point where you can't continue to fight. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Lee gets tattooed by a solid uppercut there. Can't take too many more of those. Oh, well-timed with that tee. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Kick is good by Lee. Anybody kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the top one up the middle. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Good jab there by the champion. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Switch the lens to the body. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Oh, he's had that jab in his opponent's face all night long as he lands another one there. DC, I know you wish you had reached like this. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Lee. Oh, he got the float of the target very quickly. All right, 
right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, nice hook. Big right hook there by Sam. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. One minute to go, round two. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Sidekick is there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. it has got to change something. Seconds winding down in round two. Kick lands. Oh, effective strike right. from the clinch there by the And the horn sounds on round two. Take a seat. Deep breath. Relax. Take a drink of water and listen. We want you to set those kicks up a little bit better with your hand. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready? You ready? Do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, man. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night. Oh! oh, he's hurt. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Straight right hand now just misses. Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. Dude getting active, lands another combination to the head. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Oh, that's a nice strike. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Big shot to the head. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Until you stop it, I'm gonna keep kicking. Body kick after body kick. 
Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Lou. So the fighter limping now as a result of all those leg kicks. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. He's got to make some adjustments. And checking the kick right now is not going to work. It's too late. This guy should have addressed this early. But now he's going to have to tough it out and get through this. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. Got tagged a couple times. Nice combo up top. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time the shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken from this cut. Easier said than done, though. Under a minute now to go. Starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You got to move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. There's that body shot. 30 seconds to go. Oh, you got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light them up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Final seconds of the round. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Oh, that's a nice combination and not just a two-piece either. Just misses with the left hook. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Great commitment to the kicking game. Oh, he missed with that right hand. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh. Some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter here down the line. And it'll take some time. It'll take some time when you land it there. But trust me, when you can dead that leg with those leg kicks, you can really start to see your opponent having difficulties moving. Right now, we're at step one. Come on, man, I need more punches. Let's go. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Nice jab. Oh, lands a nice straight. Oh, that body kick couldn't have felt good. 
Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking thing. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. All right, now connects with a right hand. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Connects with a beautiful jab. I really hope this man doesn't have to sneeze tomorrow. It is not going to feel good. He has absorbed a whole lot of damage to the body, and they might stop this fight soon. Could you imagine what his ribs feel like oh. right now after taking all that damage to the body? It's visible. He looks like he's overreacting. He's wincing. Oh! He's hurt bad. Good fight here, under two to go. Punch over the top. Oh man, another strike targeting that bruised area on the cap. And now you can start to see it build. And he's really struggling to stand on that lead leg, get pressure on that lead leg. to connect with the right. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. All right, well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was going to attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again then. Well, how about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay the course, to not rush, to not go head hunting, knowing that down the line, all these body shots will pay off for him. And now you can see it starting to happen. Back kick there. Keep those hands right there in the middle. Huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh! Oh, a big left hand! And there's that jab. Final seconds. Five. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. It is the fifth and final round. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Right Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Lands a nice jab there. Throwing that jab, no good. Lee gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. All right, well, he told us in the fighter meeting he didn't want to be known for his toughness. And yet again, here we are talking about him absorbing a bunch of damage to that thigh. Well, he's having to rely on it once again. It's become his calling card. And when you are known to be tough,
that's a problem. You gotta be more technical. Right now, he needs to find a way to change this fight, because if it continues to play out the way that it has to this point, he's gonna get finished. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Just misses with the jab there. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Oh, another calf kick, and that is not going to help matters. Got to think his ability to stand up is going to be questioned here soon. Very, very difficult to stand. He's got to get to the corner where the corner can get some ice on that calf to try to bring that swelling down a little bit to allow for him to go forward. That one's stuck in. Nice try. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even know them, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Under two minutes now to decide this one. Knee to the body, it's blocked. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Down into his mouth. Making all these shots count. Lee gets back up. His nose is all crooked, it's all beat up, it's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. This fight seems to be on the table right now with a minute left in the fight. Oh, with authority, the body. Nice shot to the body there. So the championship fight goes the distance as we get to some highlights here, and I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on, and tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, 
Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no 